So how's your 2019? Comment in the comment section below. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me again, Jaskripson, and today we are back again with some more videos about filmmaking and video production. And today we are going to talk about the best vlogging lens for your Canon USM. So without any jibby jabba, so we are going to jump into it. So the best vlogging lens for me that I think that is good for this Canon USM is the... Yeah, you need to see it by yourself. Yes, this. I actually do not want to set up the manual focus because I'm just too lazy to actually see back. So this is the best vlog lens I that I think that is for Canon ESM which is the kit lens. Yes, I'm not joking. The kit lens. I'm not I'm not even joking. You must be like what the what, what the freak, man? What the freak? So I have three reasons why I think that the kit lens is the best vlogging lens for your Canon ESM which is the 50mm to 45mm f3.5 IS kit lens damn I remember that actually so the first reason is you already have it most possibly because usually when you buy the camera you buy the Canon ESM you will get the kit lens so you do not need to spend any extra money or any extra cash for lenses so that is like one of the best reason why I think this is the best vlogging lens and the second reason is it has image stabilizer so most lenses that have OIS usually freaking expensive for example the ultrasonic stabilization lenses what, what, what is that lens again? I actually don't remember so I can just put the lens name over here so you can see that there right yeah in Malaysia in Malaysia ringgit it costs like around 1000 or something like that or probably around 2000s also I mean if you want like lenses that has image stabilizer this is like one of the cheapest that has has this is the like one of the cheapest lenses that has image stabilization so because the lens has image stabilizer it will reduce the stupid dumb camera shakes that actually really bug me a lot because you need to pull an image stabilizer and then everything gets warpy and man you just throw away and you know what control d this like the, the, the this feature is like one of the best features that camera manufacturers has ever infected in fact <laughs> invented come on so the third reason is i think this is specialized for uh, the 50 mm to 45 mm f 3.5 is it has a wide focal length so for this one it goes down to 15 millimeters so so this lens will give you a really wide shot and you can see the whole world i mean your audiences can see the whole world. you can see i mean using that 40 40 millimeter you cannot see these other things at the side so because i don't want to but with this kit lens if you go vlogging with this lens you can see the whole world even your legs if you have legs sorry for this hair because it looks like i mean i just cut my hair because it's cool it's cool it's cool days also with a kit lens that has a wide focal length it also reduce the camera shake so you just need to remember this formula um wider equals less shaky and zoom equals more shaky unless it has ois so yeah this is the vlogging test um i need to bring down I need to bring out the shutter so yeah this is a vlogging test of uh, the kit lens the Canon USM kit lens in uh, I'm pretty sure this is 15 millimeter yes it is so so yeah this is how it is so I'm walking and that is you know that's how stabilized it is oh wow you see that it's a B pretty sure that's a B so despite this lens is not good at low light and I think other kit lenses also because usually they do not have a really low aperture and this one goes down to f3.5 you cannot really get that shallow depth of field or really shallow bokeh a really uh, really blurry background you cannot get that and also it's not the sharpest lens in the market so despite all of that cons I think this kit lens is the best for vlogging I mean it is best for its genre because this lens has a wide focal length which is 50mm and this lens also and other kit lenses usually have that image stabilizer feature so it is good 
for vlogging while walking especially for Canon USM because it is a really small camera I mean because the weight of your camera is quite light that means that it will introduce a little bit of shakiness so I think the kit lens would help so i guess that's it for this video if you like this video make sure give a like give a thumbs up and if you don't like this video don't like don't be a hypocrite and comment and comment section below what do you think about this video if you see any weakness in my video tell me in the comment section below is it commentary is it editing tell me comment section below and i'll take it in consideration i'll, I'll take it as uh, i'll take it as a constructive criticism as always so yeah i guess that's it for this video and hopefully you do not ditch this kit lens i mean you do not throw away this kit lens because it is good in its genre so yeah thanks for watching guys and yeah this is the first video of 2019 so yeah hopefully that i can make a lot of videos because yeah this year is going to be hectic so yeah, thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.